Okay, uh, so getting back to the samurai. Ah, shit. So the emperor allows the samurai, and he allows these daimyo, right? And so that's what it is. He wants these daimyo to, you know, they rule different parts of the land, and when you don't have communications, yeah, that's the way you have to, you know, do it. Because, you know, Japan is narrow, but it's long. You know, and it's kind of hard to get, you know, communicate and stuff like that. So it's like you you need regional government shit, you know, and that's what the emperor realized as well. You know, he wants these regional governors who, who they're intelligent, they're smart, and they can control things, you know. And that's, that's the other reason why you, you allow this semi-militaristic culture in. You know, because um, you, you don't want guys who, you want guys who can control their little bit of land. You know, that's why even, you know, a king, kings own some land. But, but it's like it's specific land, and it's basically land that doesn't require a military uh, presence. And I think that w that's why, in, you know, like in France, you know, like there, there's some land that's under the purview of the king, and you know, that, which basically means you know the king can uh, dictate who controls this bit of land. But in most cases, he doesn't need to. You know, he, he doesn't need a, a fucking warden, which is what the you know, lord and duke was. Um, and so that's what that's the way they, Japan you know, interpreted it was like you know look we're gonna have these daimyo, who um, you know, you divide you divide the land up into districts, which would be like these little, you know, just whatever, you know, whatever kind of land you can live some people on and live at. All right, you know, that's gonna be a little culture, a little, or a little, a little city, or a little town. And then you got some more flatter spots, and so that's where you're like, okay, you know, that's that's where you're gonna have um, you know, your villages and some of your towns because you're gonna need some commercial towns too because you want a certain amount of society, um, you know, and you can't have a, you know blacksmiths don't really function too well. In little villages, you know, but they do function better in cities because that because the blacksmiths um, they practice their craft every day and they have more you know workers with them and they, they so they can get some more complex material there, you know, and so uh, you know so basically you know the technology of your society does does relate to how large the city gets because you know, like if your largest city, your capital city, like with Rome, is pretty freaking large, you know, and it it has all this water pouring in and it has all these people together. It has all these things going on. You're you're going to end up with like a pretty technologically advanced society because the other thing that society lasts there for so long and it has a tradition of honoring intelligence. You know that's why Rome saw these the such advances in you know technology. Now look at the Japanese. Japanese, you know the, what what do they got? They got paper walls, right? You know, and that's how the wealthy live. But they it's like limited resources. So that's what you're going to do, right? Um, so that's why you have, you know, so you have samurai who are basically the warriors, they're the soldiers, and then the daimyo and the shogun are military commanders. And the emperor wanted that, that's what he wanted. And he would let the, and, you know, they, so every day they practice, they practice their craft, and they order themselves too. That was like, you know, that's part of the religion of it. See, it's like, there, there's religions that, you know, that, or there's just existence of how society is ordered. Because everything that you do is basically dictated by the emperor. The emperor is like, you know, he, he wants you guys to live a certain way, you live that way. Meanwhile, the emperor's got you know his concubine or his, his harem of women, but you know for you you're like well I only want you guys to have one or two guys, one or two mistresses, you know this or that, you know like I'll allow that, you know but otherwise, you know just keep that order because you know if you if you guys fuck around too much, and have bastard children, then there's a problem with um, inheritances, and when there's a problem with inheritances, then there needs to be law and courts, and it's like and, and laws and courts they're a power in themselves, but it's like you know uh, you know. But, uh, you know, I, I don't, you know, in, in fact, that's why they kind of encourage bastards in some cases. Because if, if you have a bastard claim, they're like, look, I was, you know, I'm a bastard child, but I was born before this kid. Therefore, I'm an inheritor. Uh, or at least, you know, even if they're afterwards, it's still like, you know, if somebody passes away, there's somebody who is going to lay claim to land. And that was the other thing. British law wants, or wanted that, uh, you know, land be divided. That's that's why the cult that's what the culture is you know but that culture is encouraged by you know the king the monarch and the reason why and you have bastard children is because that means oh well then there's there's a you know counterclaim and if necessary I as a king can step in and say oh I side with this that's why the king is the ultimate judge you know king's in charge I'm the ultimate judge you know that's why and so the feudal society that's the way they could organize it Japan ever it's like you know I, you know I don't want to fuck around with this day to day stuff you know. I, I really don't want to have to work for my, you know, for a living, so I'm just gonna live large. I'm gonna like just live in a garden. You know, it's a very nice, pleasant environment, and I'm gonna have you know food served to me, and I'm gonna have women, at, you know, whenever I want them, you know. And it's just like, yeah, dude, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm the emperor. I'm gonna be in charge, okay? I'm the god, you know. And that's why I say I'm a living god. You know, it's like I don't need to worry myself about that stuff. If I need to, I'll step in. You know, as emperor, if I need to, I will step in because the grace of God, you know, and that I am, I will. You know, I will lay down some verdict, whatever. 
But otherwise, it's like, nah, you know, the emperor is like, you know, I'm in charge. I'm going to live like this, you know, but if I need to, I'm going to step up, you know. Um, so that's where it comes to Kamikaze.